Yes, I've done it. I didn't give in and watch the leaked episode early, and now I can finally watch this episode. Oh my god, the animation is awesome. Oh my god, the humor is awesome. Oh my god, the writing is awesome. Oh my god, the ending is... Uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. Now don't get me wrong, I think Castlemania is a great episode, and it's near the top of my all-time favorite episode list. However, the ending was, well, not that good. You might think my problem was with the reveal of Pinkie Pie being the one playing the organ, but I actually liked that part of the ending. The way I see it, the episode is supposed to be a spoof on the classic Scooby-Doo formula. And with this formula, the reveal of the Shadow Pony just being Old Man Pinky all along actually works really well as an ending. I think it's great to see that MLP has started to break into this genre as well, utilizing all the classic tropes to full effect with their cast of characters. Do you, do you hear that? Oh no, not this again. No, 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 not now. You can come back for the superhero episode, okay? Okay, now just go away. <sighs> anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, my problem with the ending comes in the next scene, the scene where the main six decide to start writing the lessons they learn in a diary. But why is that a problem, Cam goes? Because they already did that and it didn't really work and I was glad they stopped doing it, but now they brought it back and now it's all like, bleh. <sighs> okay, let me explain. When the show began, Twilight Sparkle had to write letters to Princess Celestia detailing the lessons that she learned about friendship. This served as a nice way to summarize the moral of the episode in a way that everyone can understand. For a time, this system was great. However, after a whole season, this became a problem. The show was starting to get to the point where having to write a letter at the end of every episode became a limitation on the writers, and the letters started to become more and more contrived. It got to the point where an otherwise fantastic episode would just fall apart due to the writers' feeble attempts to pull a letter out of the end. Please see Cutie Mark Chronicles. Thankfully, the writers saw this problem coming and were able to nip it in the bud before it got any worse, thanks to Lesson Zero, which declared that there will no longer have to be a letter at the end of every single episode. I've talked about this all in more detail in a much older video of mine, you can go see that if you want. Anyway, after Lesson Zero, the show improved dramatically, because the writers didn't have to deal with trying to summarize an episode in a few sentences when a really good episode can just speak for itself. Over time, the letters became less and less common. But just when I thought that Twilight becoming an alicorn would finally kill the letters once and for all, here comes Castlemania to ruin it for us. And now I worry that we will start suffering from the problem of contrived letters or diary entries all over again, except this time it will be even worse because there are even more ideas that have already been done by this point and the risk of recycling old lessons becomes even more of a problem. What was the lesson for Castlemania again? Well. It's good to know that whenever your imagination is getting away from you, a good friend can help you rein it in. Isn't that the exact same lesson as in Lesson Zero? You're telling me that you bring the lessons back for one episode and you're already reusing old ones? I can tell this is off to a great start. But there's more to it than that. The biggest problem here is that this lesson format works best for a slice of life style of show. And slice of life doesn't really seem to be what Season 4 is going for. Season 4 is seemingly trying to create some big, giant story arc, and a big, giant story arc plus slice of lifestyle diary entries just doesn't add up. I honestly don't understand why the show seems to be putting these chains back on just after it finally broke free of them. Perhaps I'm judging too early, though. Looking at the rest of the episode, Josh Haber has proven himself to be more than capable of making things work well, so I suppose only time will tell to see how Season 4's slew of new writers will handle this diary. Thanks for watching.